Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another video. Big shout out to Farai Katia, my fiance, for being the first one in the notification gang. Today's video, we're going to be doing our nails. It's going to be a gel nail tutorial. So yeah, this is what my nails are currently looking like. There has been a bit of um, growth on my nails. So this is from two weeks ago. So we're going to be transforming my nails from pink to red. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how I do it using my gel nail kits at home. So to start off with, I'm going to be using a paper towel to catch and collect every, all the dust and debris. And I like to go in first by removing the top layer of my gel nails um, and remove the bulk of the color so that it's easier for me to soak off usually when i do this i use a hand drill instead of a hand file so that's what i'm going to be sticking with for today so the hand file that i'm going to be using is just your um typical one from ebay um you can get this one on a few different sellers and a few different websites ebay amazon wherever it just has three settings and a few bits that it comes with. So I'm going to be using the coarse bits to remove the bulk of the gel on top of my nails. And I do this very lightly. I've been doing this for quite a while now, so I'm, I've pretty much gotten the hang of um, doing this without damaging my nails. I did damage my nails a few times in the past. Um, you live and you learn. So what I'm showing you here is just the under layer of my nail. When I paint my nails, I like to put a layer um, of just protection that I know once I reach that layer to stop filing and it's like a pinky layer that I'll show you a bit later on but I have this layer on just to protect my nails so I don't hit my nails with the nail drill so I know once I start seeing that layer that it's time for me to stop and start using my hand file where I'll have more control once I finish removing the bulk of the gel nails, I will go in with my um, little glass bowl. This was actually an ashtray, <laughs> um, but now I use it to soak off my nails. So I'm going to put in 100% acetone that I got that I got from the nail supply store. It was a bulk nail store near my uni. And I just allow my hands to sit in there for a good, you know, five minutes or so. Then I go back in with my file and start filing off that layer that's now soft. And that layer should just come off really easily. You can also use a tool to, to sort of scrape that layer off. But because I want to keep that pinky layer that I have as a protection, I prefer to file it so that I can see exactly what I'm doing and I'm not removing all of the gel. So this takes a bit of time and does require a little bit of precision, but you get used to it once you continue doing it over and over again. I prefer for it to take a long time and my nails to be healthy and strong than for me to damage my nails. So I do this with both sides, alternating between which hand I put in this acetone and which hand I file. Once I finish doing that, my nails should have um, just a thin layer of gel, which is this sort of pinky color that you see on my nails. And the surface of my nail should be smooth. So I know once I've done that, I'm ready to go. Then I'll go in with my finer grit nail file to just smooth out that surface so that there's no bumps and ridges from um, the course of nail file. And after that, I'll go in with my cuticle nippers. I use my cuticle nippers to remove my, um, my cuticles. 
sometimes I like to go in with my nail drill with a with the bit that can go under my cuticle to remove the, this dead layer of skin um, but these days I've been preferring to use my cuticle nippers because I have a little bit more control of what I'm doing and I like the results that it gives me after I've done that I'll go in and cut um, my cuticles where I can see that there's a lot of cuticle growth um, I'm still a novice at this, um, at cutting my cuticles. It's a hit or miss. Some days are good days, some days a bad day. Uh, this day was definitely a bad day. Once I have prepared my nails, I can begin painting and I'm using a nail lamp that I got from eBay. I'll link everything in the description bar below and I'm going to pick the color that I'll be painting my nails for today. So I'm just going to remove all the dust and debris off my nails before we begin. So the items that I'll be using when I paint my nails is a dehydrator, nail dehydrator from Born Pretty, um, a base coat, a top coat. This is the pinky color I was talking about before and also the color of the nails that you would like to have. So I go through first and I dehydrate my nails. This allows the gel polish to, um, to adhere better to your nail. Then I'll go in with the base coat and I'll start applying the base coat evenly, making sure that I don't get any flooding at the cuticle and that um, I'm really painting between the lines. The biggest trick about gel nails, which I learned after a while, is that gel nail application looks more professional when you stay within the line and when your cuticle area is really nice and really clean. So after I've gone in with my base coat, I like to go in with this pinky color that I was telling you guys about. So this is just a different gel um, gel color i would never really use this gel color alone so it's worked really well as a um, as a guide for me when i'm removing my gel polish after i've gone in and cured my hand under the lamp i'm going to go in with my color so the color that i'll be going in with today is obviously this <laughs> fire hydrant red. if you know me very well this is not a color i generally go for only time to time i prefer nudes and pinks but for the sake of this video i really needed you guys to see what i was doing so we went for the brightest color that i own when I'm applying my gel polish, I take my absolute time. As I was saying before, your gel application and your gel nails look so much more professional when they are really even and not flooded and the cuticle area, so that bottom area, that circle, semicircular area is really clean. It's best to go in thin layers. It's not like nail polish where you just clump it all on. You go in thin layers and you cure that layer. Then you go again with another thin layer and you cure that layer until you have your desired look. I like to clean up my lines with a brush that I use in case I go over the lines. I just like to remove that before I cure it because once you put it under the lamp, it's set, you can't remove it. When I'm doing my nails, I prefer to have about three coats of color, three thin coats of color. So that's in, that's excluding everything else. It's about five coats in total, including the top coat, the base coat, and the pink layer. So every time you paint your nails, you go and you put it under the lamp for about 30 to 60 seconds, and then you add your next layer. Once you're done with your color, you can go in with your top coat, and it's really important to make sure that your entire nail is coated with the top coat because this is what gives it the gel look. That shine that you look for with gel nails, this is where it comes from. So it's really important to make sure that your entire nail is coated. The good thing about gel nails is that you don't really need thick coats. So a really thin coat of gel polish will do the trick. This is what my left hand is looking like. 
and I'm going to remove the tacky layer with some acetone and then I'm going to start doing my right hand. Again, I'm going to remove that tacky layer from the gel polish and then I'm going to go in with my cuticle oil. I can't even remember where I got this cuticle oil from so I, I won't even be able to link it down below but I'm just going to re-moisturize my cuticle after all the dehydration that it's gone through and this is what my nails look like. And this took me a few hours to do, I would say about two to three hours, but bear in mind I was filming this. I am not a professional, guys. There's a lot of things I know I did wrong. There's a lot of things I skipped, but I'm not a professional. This is just DIY at home doing my best. Um, so yeah, that's my nail tutorial. Make sure to comment down below your thoughts, whether you're going to try it and like if you like the video. I will see you guys next week. I love you. Mwah.